at what point did you sort of find yours? At what point did you realize that basketball was gonna, you know, be such a big part of your life? Um, uh, well, I started out doing Taekwondo um, when I was younger. Um, I did, I eventually got my black belt and then I was oh. like, yeah, I was like, all right, I'm gonna try playing basketball. So I started playing basketball. I can't really sit here and tell you the age. My dad would have to tell you, but started playing basketball and I was like, okay, I like this. You know, I'm getting better at this. This is fun. I could do this. So I just, you know, my dad also played basketball in high school and college too. So it made it easier um, because he was always in the gym with me. So, uh, yeah, so I've been just playing basketball my whole life technically. But I started off doing uh, martial arts, which was, it helped me, you know, my fundamentals, my discipline, things like that. I'd imagine confidence too, especially confidence just, and chi, things like that. Um, yeah. So, did any of those black belt skills transfer over to the to the court? We we'll say how flexible and athletic I am. Um, you know, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I'm so like wiry and you know agile on the court is because I know how to use my body. I know how to take you know, and manipulate strengths from certain spots and be stronger and you know, use my mind to create whatever I want to type of thing. There can't be that many professional American athletes that also have a black belt. It's probably one I know of, James Johnson. Uh, that's it, yeah. I don't, I don't know anybody else though, but hey, I speak to them. Whoever has one, man, salute. <laughs> Is is that something that you would recommend to uh to kids who maybe don't yet know what sport they want to play but want to you know get involved in something? One thousand percent. Yeah, I kind of want to open my own dojo one day. That would be dope. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be the instructor, but just have a chain of them around the world and you know vet out some of the best um, you know martial arts uh, senseis and things like that. Cool. Yeah. Are you are you a UFC fan at all? No, not really. I don't really like UFC. It's really gory. It is. It's kind of a contradicting thing, but yeah, my dad likes that shit. Though, we sit there watching <laughs> beat each other. Up. <laughs> where Where did your nickname come from? What's the origin story there? The elevation of water, man. For real, that's all it is. Um, obviously, I'm a big Bruce Lee fan, and you know, that I believe sense. that. You know, everything happens for a reason. Like, you know, I can't sit here and I say I can't sit here and control the future, you know. So I can control it now, though. And whatever happens, I have to adjust with it, you know, and kind of be like water. But tsunami is kind of a, one of the biggest forms of water that, you know, that you know of. So I just want to, you know, be that inspiration. It's the, one of the biggest inspirations of somebody who kind of unapologetically was him. You know, and respectively, it was nice and loving and caring, you know, but also just inspired for, for just doing my own way. For Did he inspire your martial arts journey or did you discover him, you know, when you were already into it? Um, I was, no, yeah, I'd definitely say after, after the fact because I didn't really start, you know, I had to go through some things in life um, to really hone in on finding my soul and my purpose and things like that. So, um, yeah.